All right, welcome back to this third part in our drag and drop API series. This is gonna be a fun one because we're gonna look at how to create a custom drag image when we drag our source elements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into VS Code. And if you haven't seen the first two parts in this series, you might wanna go back and check those out before you get to this one. But if you have seen those, this is the code that we had previously. And I'm actually going to comment out these lines from our previous source and target elements. And instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in an image element or I'm gonna create an image element. And for the source, I'm gonna get our Spice Girls baby.png image. And let's go back to the browser. And there we can see baby in all her glory. <coughs> now what I want you to notice is that when we start dragging this source element, we get this kind of translucent draggable element. But what if we wanna customize this? Like what if we wanna spice it up a little bit? Well, that's what we're going to find out how to do in the next couple of minutes. And it's going to be a full-on party. So let's get to it. So how we're going to start is we're going to go back to VS Code. And then right under this image of baby, we're going to create another image in the DOM. And this image is going to be our custom drag image. So I've actually created my own custom drag image called baby2, which I've placed in the Spice Girls folder. And we can see this in the browser. There it is. We're going to be using this image here which says Spice Up Your Drag, which is a take on the song Spice Up Your Life, which comes from the 1997 album Spice World. And you may have danced to this one at a wedding or a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah. But anyway, what you should know is that this secondary custom drag image needs to actually be in the DOM. But of course, we don't want to see it from the outset. We only want to see it once we start dragging. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to hide it and we're gonna do that in our styles.css file. So let's place that here on the right side of the screen. And we're not using that source to target, so we're gonna comment those out, just so we can get a little bit more room on the screen. And so we can create a rule for this custom drag image. Let's put a class on it. We'll say class equals baby2. And then we'll create a rule for baby2. And basically what we wanna do is, we want it to be present in the DOM, but we don't want to see it initially. Now there's various ways that we can kind of position it off the screen, but I'm just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna give it a position relative. I'll create a left property, and I'll say something like minus 10,000 pixels. Right, so now if we go back, baby two is still actually in the DOM as an element, but we just don't see it here because it's positioned way off the screen. Now I should say as well that this secondary custom drag image, it doesn't only have to be an actual image, it can actually be any other visible element. Now, so far, if I drag on baby, we still get that translucent image, the same one of baby. So in order to get our custom drag image to appear, when we start dragging, we're gonna have to do some JavaScript. So let's go back into VS Code and let's go into our app.js file. And again, let's just comment out everything we had previously, since we're not gonna be using that here. And let's make some room on the screen. And what I wanna do is I wanna get hold of these two image elements in the JavaScript. So I'm gonna come into my HTML and I'm gonna give them both IDs. First one, we'll just say ID equals baby. And the second one will say ID equals baby two. All right, now in our JavaScript file, we can get reference to those. We'll get the first one, const baby equals document.query selector get that element with the ID of baby. And then let's get baby2, document uh, query selector ID of baby2. Cool, now in order to set our custom drag image, we're gonna first attach an event listener to that baby element. And this event listener is gonna be the drag start event. It's this drag start event, which is where we want to set up our custom drag image. And then as usual in our callback function, we're gonna pass the event represented here by E. And the method that we wanna use is called set drag image. And this set drag image is available on the data transfer object. Let's first log this out to the console so we can see this set drag image method. So as we said, it's gonna be on the data transfer object on the event. So let's log that out. And we should see this on drag start. So let's look at the console. And there's the data transfer object. And we don't see set drag image here, but if we look at the prototype, we find it here, set drag image. 
Well, now let's go back to VS Code and actually do something useful with this set drag image method. So as we said, we're going to call set drag image on e dot data transfer. And this method is going to take three arguments. The first is going to be the element or that custom drag image, which for us is baby two. So we're going to pass that in here as the first argument. And then the second and the third arguments are going to be the X and Y coordinates for the offset. That is the offset of the cursor in relationship to the custom drag image. So for now, let's set the X to zero and the Y to zero. So our cursor should appear at the top left corner of the image. So I'm going to save. We'll go back to the browser and let's drag. And there you go, spice up your drag. And notice the cursor is at the very top left of this custom drag image. But let's go and let's experiment for a second with these X and Y coordinates. So if I hadn't said it before, the X and Y coordinates, these are going to be relative to the width and the height of the image or the custom drag image. So if I know that the baby two image is 185 pixels wide and 360 pixels high, if I wanted to place the cursor directly in the center of this image, I would divide the width for the X coordinate. So since I said it's 185 pixels, we'll do 92.5. And for the height, I said it was 360 pixels. So divide that in half, we get 180. Let's save that and let's go back to the browser. Now let's drag and notice where the cursor is, directly in the center of the custom drag image.